Hello everyone, in today's video I'll spotlight the American Pygmy Goat Breed. Like the Nigerian Dwarf Goat Breed, this achondroplastic goat breed hails from Africa, is much smaller than standard sized goat breeds, and is becoming ever more popular on hobby farms and homesteads. I'm Eric with the Hobby Farm Guys. Don't go away, the American Pygmy Goat Breed is coming up next. Believed to have originated in the Cameroon Valley in Western Africa, American pygmy goats were once referred to as Cameroon goats. They can also be referred to as pygmy or African pygmy goats, but they are different from British pygmy goats. These goats carry a genetic disorder, a chondroplasia, which results in shortened legs on a normal sized torso. They were exported from Africa to zoos in Sweden and Germany where they were displayed as exotic animals, and by around the 1930s, they began making their way to England, Canada, and the United States, often aboard ships as a food source for exotic animals such as tigers and lions. In 1959, the Rue family in California and the Catskill Game Farm in New York received the first documented shipments of pygmy goats from Sweden. By the 1970s, two distinct types had developed from these miniature African goats, one broad, compact, and solid like the original African stock, the other more delicate, much like a miniature dairy goat. The latter became the Nigerian dwarf, while the former became the American pygmy, for which a breed society was established in 1975 and a herd book started in the same year. American pygmy goats have a round, heavy bone structure and a well-muscled, stocky body. The barrel is broad and deep, limbs and head are short relative to the body length. The head has a dish profile with a broad forehead, erect ears, goat waddles, and horns. The nose is short, wide, and flat with a rounded muzzle. The coat is straight and medium length and varies in density with season and climate. While does have a sparse beard, bucks have a long flowing beard and mane and are clearly different in appearance to females, being bulkier with thicker horns. They come in three color classifications, caramel, black, and agati. Agati means that each hair has bands of at least two separate pigments on each strand, producing a somewhat speckled appearance. Within the three main color classifications, there are seven recognized color variations. The accepted breed standard colorings are brown agati, gray agati, black agati, solid black, black with white markings, caramel with black markings, and caramel with brown markings. Males grow to 50 to 70 pounds and 16 to 23 inches tall, and females reach 40 to 70 pounds and 16 to 22 inches tall. Height is measured to the withers, or the highest point on the back. They have two toed hooves, rectangular pupils, and a four-chambered stomach. Two toed hooves help them to be agile climbers, while the rectangular pupils allow them to see 280 degrees around their bodies to scan for potential threats. They also have a four-chambered stomach that contains bacteria, which breaks down cellulose in all the vegetation the goats eat. Their first stomach has a capacity of an astonishing 10 quarts, allowing them to consume large quantities of food in a small amount of time. Pygmy goats aren't typically considered a dairy breed. While they can be milked and produce 1 to 2.5 liters a day, they have small teats and udders, which makes milking more difficult. Generally, if you're looking for a small dairy goat, you want to look at the Nigerian dwarf. But as a small meat goat, the American pygmy breed excels. Their thick muscles produce excellent meat compared to other miniature goat breeds. Often, this breed is simply kept as a pet. They don't require constant human companionship, but are typically very friendly. As a herd animal, you should aim for at least two goats. Hardy, they do well in a variety of climates, but do need a large fenced area to roam and play in. And depending upon your goats and your goals, you may need more than one area. Precocious and prolific non-seasonal breeders Estrus can occur at any time of the year. Puberty is common at four to five months, but can occur as early as two months. It's recommended to wait until the doe is 12 to 18 months old before breeding. She, she can then produce one to four young every nine to 12 months, and twin births are common. Pygmy goat lifespan is generally 10 to 15 years. That's the American pygmy goat breed. A cute beer keg on short cobbly legs. What are your thoughts on this breed? Leave a comment below and tell us what you think. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and remember to keep on hobby farming.